It's Walter Martin helping you find some of the best sales and deals on used cars in your particular area and that means we often go to Craigslist. So today we're going to go into Nebraska and we're going to look up Lincoln where the University of Nebraska is located. So go to google.com and type in Craigslist Lincoln Nebraska and hit enter. And the first website you're going to see is lincoln.craigslist.org. Go ahead and click that link and you're going to see a generic Craigslist page with Lincoln up top in the middle. Nearby Craigslist on the right, if you can't find what you're looking for on this specific page, you may want to look at these nearby Craigslist on the right. There's a search Craigslist bar on the left if you have a specific make and model like a 2004 Ford Explorer or whatever you're looking for. I always go to the for sale section and go to cars and trucks and buy owner only and you're going to quickly see why. So here's an old Toyota Camry for $4,000. You could legitimately drive around Lincoln for hours and deal with plenty of used car salesmen and used car lots and probably not be able to find a great deal on a Toyota Camry. Now $4,000 might not be the best deal, but the seller is willing to take a best offer. So if they're not getting a ton of interest at $4,000, there's a very good possibility that you could talk them down a little bit by having cash in hand. Having cash is very important on Craigslist as many sellers do not want to go through the negotiating process for many months and you know that's not something they're looking for. They're really looking to get rid of the vehicle and make some money on it. So always read the entire classified ad, make sure everything's good. Air conditioning is very important this time of the year. It's very hot outside. And, you know, you might want to call and ask if you can take a test drive or come and look and make sure there's no major cosmetic damage. Looks like there's a little bit of damage here on the back, but that's about it. So I would suggest looking through multiple listings over the course of time if it's possible. I know some people need a vehicle now and they don't have time to look. But the more time you do research, the lower prices you are going to get. You'll be able to find trends with prices. You'll be able to negotiate better deals. You'll be able to look at different options. And this is always helpful when looking for a car or truck. So these are just a few helpful tips that I often use when searching Craigslist for a used car. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. And please like the video on YouTube if you find it helpful.